Hey guys, what's up? It's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel where I'm talking about all the different things that I changed in my life to lose over 100 pounds. Uh, today I am going to be showing you guys the inside of my fridge. This is something that I like. Being super aesthetic with my fridge was... I, at first it was about the aesthetic and then it actually became about... Um, just keeping my fridge clean and having my fridge clean and organized all the time made me actually like want to have like more produce in my fridge and because I knew it wasn't going to go bad because everything was organized and stuff like that so I'm going to just show you guys that um so for starters uh we're going to start with uh, my lunch drawer so I have a lunch drawer down here um, and that basically just has anything that I can quickly pack for lunches. Um, so like baby carrots, these uh, like protein turkey packs, um, and then different kinds of like bars um, just that I can like quickly pack. I can grab like an apple or I have some hummus and some like go-go squeeze packs back there that I can just like quickly pack before I go to work. Um, and also I have in this center I always have eggs and um, some kind of food that's been meal prepped so I have chili over here um, if I have some kind of like meal prepped food for the week then I'm less likely to go get takeout on the days that I don't feel like I can cook or want to cook um, so that's super helpful I know this seems so silly, but I go to physical therapy two times a week and I have to get up super early. Um, I go, I have to be there by seven in the morning. So having like pre-made scrambled eggs that I can just quickly throw on my stove really helps. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, basically keeping your fridge super organized like this where everything is just pulled to the front, everything's clean, organized in its order um, definitely helps because, I mean, I know we've all been there where like you go to your parents' house and you're like, there's nothing to eat. And that's because your parents just throw shit wherever. My parents did it too. They just put shit wherever. Um yeah we don't do that in this house and then we don't have food that goes bad i will literally eat every single one of those apples not a single one of those apples will go bad um so yeah and then when it comes to my freezer so something that i used to be like super super opposed to before uh was frozen vegetables but then I found that you don't just have to like steam frozen vegetables in the bag in the microwave. You can also um, like put them in the oven. You can like season them, put them in the oven, do whatever you want with them. Um, so I keep frozen vegetables on hand um, because if I ever just want to um, throw, like I have some like frozen salmon in here. I have some frozen chicken. If I just want like a quick meal, that's right there and I can just grab it. That'll take me like 20 minutes to make at the most. Um, something I like really want to talk about is my smoothie bags. Um, so this is something when I first started losing weight that like really, really helped me a lot. I'm really picky about smoothies. I think it's nasty when they're like super runny and stuff like that like I don't like putting milk or anything in my smoothies because that just makes it runny um so I found out that if you put frozen spinach well you can get I got regular I would always get regular spinach and pre-make these um so I have them like during the week and I can just grab it throw it in a blender with some greek yogurt and some chia seeds and you have a smoothie uh, it looks like this one is cherries spinach and bananas but yeah super helpful super good way to get in your greens um, if you don't like vegetables um, this is a good way to get in like spinach I know a lot of people don't like spinach I used to not like spinach 
but now I can tolerate baby spinach. Um, kale is the one that I still can't tolerate. I tr I try it a lot, but it's it's a lot for me. I can do baby kale like in a smoothie every once in a while, um, but proceed with caution if you're not a vegetable person. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it um, when it comes to my fridge. Basically the, the gist of it is to just keep everything organized. Um, everything's pulled to the front um, so it's visible in sight. It'll get used. Um, the something I am going to show you guys over here is I have like a whole stack of Olipops. Um, I'm going to be trying those in one of these videos. Olipop is like a good alternative to drinking soda. Um, I found them, I think it was Emma Chamberlain's podcast that she was talking about them and I just started drinking them. I don't drink soda. I had already like quit drinking soda when I found them. Um, but it was a nice refresher to be able to drink soda again. Um, those are like super, so the vintage cola flavor is 35 calories, zero fat, 25, 16 milligrams of, or 16 grams of carbs, nine grams of fiber. Um, but yeah. There's prebiotics, botanicals, plant fibers, non-GMO, vegan, and paleo. So they're really good. Um, so I'm going to be trying all the flavors. I ordered all the flavors online. So I'm going to be trying those uh, probably in the next couple day days, and I'll be posting that. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like share and subscribe whatever uh people say to help my channel grow i just really want to help other people do the same thing that i've done i know it's like a super challenging thing and there's a lot of information out there and if i can help anyone in some type of way that would be super dope so but other than that have a great night guys bye